Welcome back to Journey to Baby Jordan, everyone. So I'm giving you guys a quick update. I was supposed to be putting out his 11 month update and his knee pad video, but I wanna go ahead and get this one put out. So, um, Mr. Ramir had another um, asthma attack, except he had his inhaler this time and it didn't work. Bless you. And the one thing about it is his symptoms were a little different this time. So if y'all remember last time, it was stomach going in and out real fast. Um, really not having no appetite. Um, the wheezing. What are you trying to get up here? Get your toy. Here you go. Here you go. So for this time, it was a little different. So, for three days before all this happened, which had happened yesterday, I noticed he was making different sounds with his his mouth. Like, but it kind of, I thought maybe it's sinus and allergies because it's like, uh, like something kind of like that. And so, you know, I'm paying I kept telling my husband, like, something's going on with him. I'm just not sure exactly what it is, but something's going on. And my husband's normal reaction, it looked fine to me. <laughs> That's why I always tell everyone, if anybody's going to know what's going on with our son, it's going to be me. My husband does not, I'm not going to say he's not paying attention because he pays attention, but... I I noticed the differences if that if that makes sense. I noticed any differences. And I kept telling my husband the night before it happened. So today's Friday. This happened Thursday night. Uh so I was telling him for we went to sleep Thursday. I'm telling you, I know for sure, for sure. Something's not right. Something is not right. I said, I probably won't get much sleep. I said, because I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm, I'm on it. We was getting in bed probably about 6.45, 7. Okay. So, I noticed, like, he's acting like he can't really breathe good. And when I say that, a lot of people wouldn't really notice that, but I did. He's sitting up here. It's almost like he's holding his breath. And I kept, I, I remember showing that to my husband at night, but he was active. He was playing a lot, but I still noticed like he's, it's like he's holding his breath. <coughs> right, right, right. And so I just couldn't, I couldn't sleep good. And then all of a sudden, here we go with the stomach. It was going in and out, in and out, in and out. So I said, okay. I went ahead. I gave him in his inhaler. One pump. I watched the flap go up six times. I waited a couple minutes. I gave him another pump. I did the same thing. It, it was like immediately. Not within two minutes. Immediately. It's like he had this boost of energy. His stomach wasn't doing that. He was breathing really good. Everything that he needed. Yeah. Here you go. You're saying, Mama, try to hurry. And so... I was like, okay, you know, I think he'll be good now. But for the simple fact that I had to give him his inhaler, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to watch him. You know, I still, I'm going to watch him. So, he seemed to do good. He seemed to be doing good. Because my husband usually sleeps with him first. And then I'll get him in the middle of the night. And I'll finish sleeping with him. Well, I told my husband because how he was. I said, I'm going to start off sleeping with him. And then I'll just give him to you. So, about... 
and he's still doing a little coughing when he drinks or eats, which it's which ended up kicking in. Um, so around 12 o'clock, he started choking when drinking. That was around the time I was going to give him to my husband. And I'm telling my husband, you know, you need to be make sure he's sitting all the way up. My husband was half asleep and half away. And our son has his habit of he will sleep straight down. And he had went down and my husband uh, was trying to raise him up and he had went to choking. And he had him sitting straight up and he was still choking. And I was like, see, that's just one of them things. I was like, I'm telling you, baby, something ain't right. So, we end up, my husband, it took him a little while, but he would give him a little bottle take and I give him a little bottle take it. So, fast forward to 5 a.m. Now he's wheezing. And I'm sitting there telling my husband, I gave him his inhaler. There's no reason he should be wheezing, you know, but this is, we're new to all this asthma stuff. So, um... I'm telling my husband, you know, we're getting our stuff ready, getting up, getting ready for work and everything. And I'm telling him, you know, I'm, I'm something's just not sitting right with me. Like, I could tell something is going on with me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't know what it is, but something ain't right. Mama was saying that too, right? Yes, 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 I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing. I said the same thing. Yes, I did. Okay. So, my husband was like, I can hear a little bit, a little bit. So, he went outside to start his truck. By the time he came back in to get ready for work, he was on full-on weeds. Like, you could you could hear him. And I was bringing him to him. He said, I hear him. He said, okay, I'm finna call my boss. So I'll text my boss. Now we're getting our stuff together to head to the hospital. So what ended up happening was similar to last time. When Rainier had his asthma attack, he showed no signs of being sick. He looked like he like he was just sneezing. That was it. He was sneezing. That was it. He was not actually sick. He has regular allergies. Like he's allergic to dust and pollen and <laughs> grass and stuff with dogs and cats. Like he has regular allergies too. And so with the, the weather, you know, changing now, I just assume like, you know, we don't have him outside a lot, but we take him outside like once a day for like 10 minutes, let him, you know, get used to how the weather is changing without actually taking him out in town. Um, and so I was like, that's why I just assumed the sneezing was. And like a couple days ago, he had like 98.6, 98.7, low grade, but he has one tooth out and he has another tooth trying to come out. And so, I was like, you know, that's probably what that is. And it went the whole day. It was just that that time, and then he was feeling, he was, he was good. And so, um, we get down. I, I went ahead and checked in online. We get down there, and they have this one doctor. You could tell she's kind of new. And I was so tired. I was, I had, I didn't even have three hours of sleep. So I had fixed him homemade food, made him bottles, left the food here. Um, children's end up bringing us a thing of formula down in case we end up needing some more food while we were there. But basically, anytime he has a little sickness, a little. So when I say we're going to have to pay special attention. So if he's sneezing a lot back to back to back and he has like mucus in it, any type of mucus in his nose, we have to watch. We have to watch for him. We can't have nobody around him that's sick, that's been sick, that's getting over sick. You have to be completely healed to be around him. Because around this time for his asthma, they're telling us that it will not take hardly anything at all to set him off. Anything at all. And so... um it's a little scary because I kind of have, um, for my sister's birthday party, was supposed to be going out overnight, and it just has me a little worried because I know nobody pays attention to him like I do. His daddy definitely does, but 
Like, I, I know. I'm going to be the first one to know. I know. And uh, that's what I was kind of even telling my mother-in-law the other day about my husband. Like, you know, he pays attention. You know, of course, every husband's like, I don't know what I would do. I can't do this without you. But they can. But when it comes to him, there's certain things that nobody's going to see but me because I'm with them all day. <laughs> Of course, Daddy sees it, yes. This boy's obsessed with his daddy. But, y'all, that's what happened. Um, So, now they are telling us that we will probably have to give him his inhaler a couple more times that he might go through it. But if they're saying that... Yeah, yeah. They're saying that if his inhaler does not work and it keeps persisting, that we have to bring him back to the hospital. Um, said that he was running like, a, I think, 98.5 there. Um, his eczema was cutting up really bad yesterday. It, it Anything, anything. If, if he just cuts up because he don't like, he, he just ain't feeling it today, his eczema's going to cut up. Um, it's not going to take much at all. Um, the one thing we do know is we are, we are blessed to have a team behind us. You know, when we need something, we have questions. Um, the, the one thing we always hear is you're doing everything right. Keep doing it. But, you know, you feel a, a failure sometimes as a mom, you know, because you feel like even though you're doing everything you're told to be doing, what you're supposed to be doing. Your, your son is still going through things. And, you know, I was crying the other day and my husband was like, what's wrong? I said, I feel like I keep failing him. Like, no matter what I do, it's not good enough. Like, he's still going through so much, you know. And I feel like I should be able to take some of this away from him. But we're having to try him on new foods. We're trying my new foods. He has an allergic reaction. It, it just sets me off because, like... I don't like to have to keep feeding him the same thing. So I do want to try new things for him. But every time he has to go through the allergic reaction part, or maybe he's not allergic reaction, maybe he's just sensitive to it. It just, I hate that he has to go through so much. And it, I just, it does something to me. It makes me feel a certain type of way. But I do understand that, you know, it's a little give and take with a child who has eczema allergies and, um, asthma you know you gotta try things see if they work see if they don't work the one thing about it you know you almost wish you had a manual with a child like this because you you want to make sure you're doing everything exactly right even though there's no such thing as perfect or right you just want to be able to do everything right you can for your child So, that's what we're doing. It just makes me a little nervous to know that for seven days I have to watch him and then I might have to keep giving him his inhaler um, because he may need it. Um, the one thing I really did notice also is he had dark circles around his, uh, under his eyes. And he has not been taking his naps all the way and so I just assumed it was because he hasn't been you know, like he's he might take a five minute nap here, a fifteen minute nap here, a thirty minute nap here. So I just assumed that's what it was, you know. But y'all, if you're not sure, ask questions, pay attention to signs, write things down. Um, when I wasn't sure with Ray Mir, every time something happened, I put it in my phone, the date, the time, and like a description. Um, because it's so hard for something going on for you to remember what happened last week, you know? So, if something's going on, man, just write stuff down. Do what you can. Do the best you can. Because most parents, the best ones, always feel like there's something better that they could be doing. And the only thing you can do is keep doing what you're doing. But that is the updates with Mr. Ramir. Um, he's a little itchy because he has um, a sensitivity to apples and some of the steroid medicine they gave him. I was so sleepy. I heard her say apple. And by the time I realized that it was too late, like everything, I, my, I was just so off yesterday. This was me trying to stay awake. Just 
<laughs> Y'all, it was it was it was a rough day yesterday, but we got through. We did what we had to do. Um, I'm gonna let this video go because I don't want it to be this long, and it's already longer than I wanted it to be. And uh, want to keep just want to keep you guys updated. And me and him have to get ready for work. I would tell him to tell y'all bye-bye, but he's so in the Gracie's corner, he probably wouldn't even hear me talking to him. Ain't that right, Ramir? Exactly. <laughs> okay, guys, until the next video. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Have a wonderful weekend. And, 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 and stay as sanitized as you can during this season. Have a blessed day, y'all. Bye.